Good morning guys, welcome back to an update of my uh, original solar system. So I have two uh, off-grid solar system. This is the original one, um, the small array system on my original house. Um, it's only half uh, 4 kilowatts of solar panels and uh, my 40 kilowatts battery bank com uh, consists of uh, 23 kilowatts of the Nissan LEAF and another um, uh, 17 kilowatts of the uh, Chevy Volt uh, 12 cells so the both of them is 12 cells and they're parallel together so I just want to do a quick update on it uh, don't mind the battery cover uh, some customer needed the battery cover so I sold them so I'm gonna I'm still trying to find some more for myself and then I can put the battery cover back on but uh, Anyway, so, you know, as of YouTube go, there's a lot of comments, um, you know, good comments and bad comments and all kind of comments, you know, it's, it's to be expected, but uh, a lot of people think it's dangerous, um, the way how I have my battery system built, uh, and especially I don't have any BMS on it, people think it's, uh, it's very risky, it's stupid. Um, but you know that's what they think you know it's uh, it's what I think that would matter for my system um, obviously there is going to be a risk no matter what you do uh, BMS or no BMS if you add a BMS it gives you the benefit of, of uh, a little bit of fail safe um, but if, if imagine what if the BMS fail then the BMS is now another variable so if you add a BMS doesn't matter what type of BMS it is doesn't matter if it's a good BMS or, or you know a cheap BMS it is still a variable and that variable you know it, it that it's all depends so for me um, I just want to eliminate uh, as many variables as I can into my system uh, and obviously I put it in this cabinet I mean obviously I can extend my battery uh, bank to as much as I want uh, but unfortunately you can only use what you actually produce and that's you know that's kind of a problem for me because I can't add any more array to my system it's gonna be stuck at 4 kilowatt no more space unless I go up to my roof um, which I won't um, so no more solar array so I'm only have 4 kilowatt of solar and that's all it's gonna that's all it's going to produce and it doesn't matter how big of my battery bank is if I can't have the solar to fully charge it back on then there's no point however so the quick video update today would be just I just want to show you um, after almost two years of using the battery bank uh, pretty much every day cycle it every day so I use about uh, I would say in the winter time probably about 40 to 50 percent daily and then um, in the summertime, I would say they would probably cycle the battery 70% easily. Um, the problem with summertime here in Arizona right now is that um, I would have to switch back to the grid every three days. Uh, switch back to the grid one day every, after every three days of solar use so that it can, the battery can catch up. Or the solar can catch up, not the battery. Uh, just because I'm not producing enough to run my big uh, three and a half ton air conditioner, so it needs a day uh, to be uh, off uh, in order to to replenish the battery back up so that you know it can keep up again. So I want to just do a quick update on the the balancing, um, just to show you. Uh, I have not measured this thing for like four months now, so I'm just going to measure it today and I'll just record it so you guys can see it. I have the battery completely disconnected and like I said I had to shut off the whole day yesterday so it can fully charge back up so it's at about 4.1 4 volt per cell right now so I had it completely disconnected from the system not nothing's using the battery this way we can accurately measure it so there's gonna be no changes in between so I'll try to uh, do that and you guys can see it and, and, and you can see for yourself um, to see uh, if a 12 cell system need to be uh, need to have a BMS or not the other people keep saying yeah once your battery get dragged down low or you charge it up high or you pull a bunch of uh, you know high amperage stuff from it it's gonna go out of balance oh I know that I mean I've been using lithium polymer for the last 20 years I know that and I use it in my 3d helicopter where a little you know the seven inches 5,000 milliamps 24 volts uh, lithium polymer that 
get pulled, you know, 250 amps discharge, and they go out of balance. I know that, but come on. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't comment. Because look at my battery bank, 40 kilowatts, and I'm pulling what? 100 amps when my three and a half ton air conditioner is pulling, um, and uh, my the three and a half ton air conditioner is pulling. It's only pulling 100 amp DC out of my whole 40 kilowatts battery bank. You do the math. How much amperage is coming out of each battery module? You do the math. It's around five to six amps. And these batteries are capable of doing 100 to 200 amp per battery. And I'm only pull five or six amp out of it. So is that high discharge or no discharge at all? You do the math. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk about the, those people anymore because it just kind of bring me down. So I'm trying to avoid it. Um, so. Uh, but just want to show you my my you know the balancing on it. So let's take a look. So it's a little bit tough for me to do um, because I have my camera phone and I don't have a stand on it. So it's going to be a little bit tough for me to show you the whole battery and then measuring the balance. I'll try my best. So here we go. So here would be the first cell. So. So my uh, meter go up to three digits, as you see there, 4.104. So the battery is pretty much at up to the 90% charge or 95% charge as I set it up. So 4.104, and here's the second cell. And this one is 4.097. So you do the math and do the subtraction. Um, and see what's the difference there. But this one will go all the way up to three digits. So, and then the and here's the third cells. Four point one zero zero. The next cells. Four point zero nine eight. The next one. 4.096 4 4.100 Here's the next one Actually, this side is the next one 4 4.094 4.097 4.097 4 4.092 4.094 4.097 So that's all of the 12 cell um, So I don't, uh, I'm not that good at math right now so I don't, I can't, I can't uh, do the subtraction right now. But uh, you do the subtraction, and then you see the what is the the voltage difference. I'll do it, and then I'll put it in the description. Um, here's the Chevy volt on the top. Um, let me see if I can get the Chevy volt. See now I can't see the meter. Let's see. So, first cell, 4 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 4.098, 
takes a you know a second or two for the reader to read it accurately. Uh, this will be on the 9.2. So overall, I, I'm not going to measure them all. Well, I, m I will measure them all, um, but not on video. But you know, as I have always mentioned this before, uh, personally, I think the Chevy Volt battery is more, it's better than the Nissan Leaf, uh, even in balance wise. Even the Nissan, the, the the Leaf is really good too, but it's not as good as the, the Chevy Volt uh, as always. So anyway, apart from that, I also want to mention that I will add uh, two more battery into my system. Uh, it's because I have this little space over here. And if you watched my previous uh, video recently, you've seen that I got some Honda Clarity. And they are a really tiny module. And, you know, uh, a light bulb pop in my mind. I was like, wow, you know, I have little... I still have this little space left in my battery cabinets. So currently it's 40 kilowatts and it's inside this, this really small cabinet. I was like, you know, what if I try to you know, break my own record and add in more battery module and look at it. It fits perfectly in here and I can do two more. You know, so I'll just slide them in right here, right? And then run some wire and then I can have another one right here and that will give me each one of the Honda Clarity is 1.2 kilowatts and it's a 12 cell, same as my Chevy Volt. And the way I have, I have the Nissan Leafs, so I'll just parallel it in and put it through a fuse, just kind of like the, all of the Chevy Volt here. And each one of them is 1.2 kilowatts, so that's going to give me another 2.4 kilowatts. And uh, uh, what's that going to do is that in the winter time, um, in the summer time, it's not going to do me much because I use all the power from the solar. Um, when the solar generated, so it's not going to add in battery bank to my system, it's not going to do me much. But in the winter times, uh, I have a lot of solar and I'm not using it um, at the right time. So if I have a bigger battery bank in the winter times, um, you know, I can uh, uh, use more for water heating at night, and then I also probably should be able to um, heat some of my uh, tropical plants that I've recently put in. So uh, in, in the greenhouse, so I'm going to, you know, be able to use the, the heater at night to keep my uh, greenhouse uh, warm. So that's going to be good. So that's the last two battery, and I think that's it. I th there's no literally not even an inch left of space to add into this. Uh, I think this is a 47 by 45 inch uh, by 18 inch uh, deep uh, cabinet. So that's all going to fit in here. All right, I'm going to switch my system back on so I'm not uh, wasting too much energy. Um, so I'll, once I finish the wiring to add in the battery module, I will do another update on a video um, just so you guys can see uh, um, how everything goes together and how everything's working. Um, again, uh, I don't want to go back to that same topic again, but as you can see how well my battery is still in balance after two years of very, I would say, pretty pretty good cycle usage uh, out of my battery. Uh, I, I don't, uh, my, like I said, my, my solar um, doesn't overpower produce because I don't have enough solar. So my battery continuously gets cycle 50, at least 50% uh, every night. So um, it's, as you can see for yourself, uh, if you have a big giant bank like this, um, your system, it's not going to pull a lot out of the battery. They don't get um, they don't get below 20 or 30 percent on my system and they don't get charged over 90 95 percent so they don't go out of balance so here you know if you want proof so here it is um, other than all of the people that's going around and giving me all the crap when you actually click on their uh channels and go to ch the channel they don't have any video they don't have a system you know, all they do is they go around and, you know, disliking people's system because they don't have one or they're not, uh, they don't have enough knowledge or understanding or, or, or the balls to put in a system like this. Uh, of course, I understand the risk. If this gets burnt, if something go wrong, it's going to burn down my house. I, I understand that. But I've done everything that I possibly could think of to lower the risk as, pos as much as possible and accept the rest of the risk. Anyway, for those who like my video, uh, thanks for watching uh, all this time. And, and, you know, if you're new and if you want to subscribe, I really appreciate it. Thank you.